worked his juicer to a pulp. <laughs> Wild and insane ways people supposedly kick the bucket. Today we are reacting to a thousand ways to die for the third time. And here with me today is my favorite person, my wife, Jen. Hi everyone. If you didn't already know, I used to act on this crazy show, but luckily I never died. I can't say the same for the people in these scenes we're about to see. Let's dive right in. Ted was a 70 year old and a 35 year old like body. Oh, that's like what I do every day. How did he get so inflated? This <laughs> <laughs> is Jordan every day before he goes to work. Get out of here. You gotta be careful with those like weird explosive movements. You can have like tendon ruptures and your muscle like gets all like balled up. I can tell you that much because I've been in the chiropractor many times. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, okay mixture. wait, it's now me. It's me in the kitchen. That was literally me today. Oh. I juiced right before this. A mixture <laughs> of vegetables and steroids to pump him up. <laughs> I don't think ingesting orally steroids actually... I thought you had to get shot up in the butt, not that I know from experience. Right, we give steroids in the hospital for different types of it's airway the, issues. It's not the same type of steroid though. No, it's a different type of steroid. The only thing Ted truly loved was his juicing. <laughs> On a three-quarter horsepower engine, it sliced the raw produce into bits, and then to centrifugal force separated out the juice. What's gonna happen? So Ted worked his juicer to a pulp. <laughs> I love this. He worked that juicer to a pulp. Oh my gosh! Boom. Did I write this show? Oh I love God. a good pun. This is hilarious. Ted's juicer had an expiration date. Uh -oh. Okay. After years okay. of abuse, one of the wires shorted out. Okay. The juicer overheated and suddenly went. Exploding. You know, this actually happens. Different appliances actually explode. What? When the smoke cleared, Ted. <gasps> oh! Was dead. Oh, we got him! It's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Would that instantly kill him? I feel like. No. You're saying no. No. It's still stuck there, so it's not like he's bleeding out yet. Because he didn't remove it. Don't yeah. remove it. Run to the hospital like that. Well, don't run. Have somebody take you. Okay. No! no! Don't no. keep doing that, bro. Like most guys, oh, <laughs> oh! Ow! <laughs> She's just firing it randomly from the hip? Can't do that. First time I ever shot something like this, I definitely held it wrong. And the impact Ooh. in the recoil uh -huh. into my shoulder, I had the most massive bruise on my shoulder. You could cause shoulder dislocations. His two passions by making videos of trigger squeezing hotties. Oh, he's just being a creeper. He's getting girls using his weapons and then posting them online with this old school camera. What the? She's got a freaking Uzi. I haven't seen one of these since Rambo. Not good. No safety glasses, no ear protection. What the heck is going on? The combination of Irma and an Uzi turned into a real boob girl. <gasps> oh, no. How many of you have actually shot a weapon and got that hot bullet casing, the collar of your shirt or because up your sleeve? Because it flies out. Because they fly out, right? They get ejected out. Oh, they burn. Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! Plot twist. He gets direct shot right to the heart. You got the classic blood coming out of the mouth. I was just gonna say that. I was like, why is blood coming out of his mouth that hit him in the chest? If it hit the esophagus or it hit the airway, maybe. It's... Maybe. But that's the only way you can get blood out of the mouth. Is there any way to come back from this? Yeah, you can potentially survive it. You'll need your chest cracked open to be able to get to the heart right away. And then you have to see if you can close the wound up. Dave was a building manager who kept an eye on things. Oh, Dave. The problem was, he kept too close an eye. <gasps> oh, no, no. creeper! Wait, what is Did the, he had like a manual drill, so it's not making a lot of noise, and now he's sticking a, like a fiber optic camera. Get That's so nice creepy. Oh my god! Oh, because there's so many holes in the table. <laughs> Serves you right, creeper. Boom! Karma's a beast. I feel like in homes, if your TV's not secured or your dresser and it comes down on them. Oh yeah, we get a lot of people who come in like, we're trying to climb up to get something high up and they fall or whatever they're trying to get falls on top of them. His fat head was crushed and his brains went splatter and his lights went out. Oh no. Forever. 
But if you get crushed by that, you're probably okay. So say it's like 500 pounds at a weird angle, hitting your neck, basically crushed his cervical spine, lacerated vessels of the neck. There's a lot of things that could happen. It was so fast, we just don't know. I've seen many patients come in, unfortunately, with their brains hanging out and they're still alive and you potentially can get their body back, which gives time for like organ donation. Criminals and evil. Yes, wait a minute. We got Robin with a pair of brass knuckles. I've been to some Comic-Con events and I've definitely seen this guy. One man crime fighting force, keeping us all safe from harm. Oh my gosh. this masked crusader? It's time. He's part-time superhero and full-time dork. Oh, he's hey, so cute. Dorks are great. They keep I the world going around. I <laughs> married one. Thanks a lot. You dress up as Clark Kent slash Superman one year there for Halloween. Go. Yeah, and one patient actually said, F you, Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Every day he slips on his custom-made hero costume, straps on oh, an I love electric it. cattle prod. He kind of looks like Gaston. Oh, electric cattle prod. What's he in that for? I don't know. It's like a taser, right? Oh! oh. The bad guys. Red Justice is in. Red, Red Justice! Yes! I'm trying to think of what my superhero name would be. What would yours be? I don't have a superhero. I just have a nickname. Wags. Oh, well, yeah. Up on the roof, a crime Ooh. in progress. To the rescue. Onward and upward. Oh, this of course. is a job. <laughs> oh. Perfect timing. You know, it's fell. Okay. Not really moving with stealth and grace. I, I love the justice. idea of him. <laughs> Disperse immediately. Captain Buzzkill. Beat it. Captain Buzzkill. Yeah. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. oh, no. Oh, oh, no. He meets a force he can't. He used a cattle prod. It looked like right before he fell, he twisted his ankle, too. Yeah, an ankle sprain can rupture all the ligaments on the outside, making your ankle unstable. Basketball players happens all the time. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Gravity. Oh! Yeah, you probably won't die right away. Falls greater than three times your own height, I've said it before, are major traumas. Back fractures, pneumothorax, hemothorax. What does that mean? Hemo hemo he hemo <laughs> hemo <laughs> a hemothorax is when you have blood surrounding the lung on one side and it's starting to collapse the lung. You have pneumothorax where air is compressing down the lung on that side, so again, you can't breathe well. These were crazy. Always. These are always great because it's always trying to understand like there are situations situations where a lot of these things could actually be true and not an embellished story. Absolutely, you hear weird freak things. Let us know, we have a guess if you want us to do around four of this. I mean, I love this, this is so much fun. I know, there are yeah. so many, or maybe some other shows. Let us know, and if you guys really enjoyed this, check out the whole series right here. And as always, please make sure you subscribe, turn those bell notifications on, hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching, and stay healthy. My friends. <laughs>